Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more TC 2019. Now the course we have for you today is Stoke Park Country Club. This is a lighter course and it's by Paddy JK19. So we're going to get started. Uh, the fairways are soft, the greens are firm and the green speed is a medium fast. Okay, we have four sets of tees. We will go off the blue tees, 7,025 yards. And we'll keep pin set number one on and let's get going. As I said, this is a lighter course, got a little bit of history on this course. Uh, Stoke Park is a private sporting and leisure estate in Stoke Podgy's Buckinghamshire. The mansion building, designed by James Wyatt in 1788, is located in the middle of 300 acres of parkland, lakes, gardens and monuments. In 1908, it became the first country club and hotel in the UK. In 2013, it was awarded five red AA stars, the highest accolade. Oh, let me get my sky camera. The highest accolade for service and facilities for hotels by the automobile association stoke park served as the filming location for several major films including james bond's goldfinger tomorrow never dies bridget jones's diary and layer cake it also hosts the annual boodles tennis championship as a warm-up to wimbledon a week prior to the championship oh, very nice in june 2014 Stoke Park hosted an outdoor charity concert for Sports Aid. Patron was the Duchess of Cambridge. Sir Elton John sang to 5,000 people and raised £825,000. Very nice. So we've got a nice big lake there as well. Let's go around and have a look at the clubhouse. Nice big clubhouse. Just down here. Well, it looks like the, the driving range. Okay, I've seen some yeah, the tennis courts here as well. Very nice. That must be the main court here, the main tennis court. Really nice big clubhouse. Here's some other facilities here. There's another little bit of history I just wanted to say. I'm not going to go into there's loads of history to this course, but there's just, just one little bit here I'll read out as well while we have a look at the, um, the clubhouse. The Stoke Park Estates history dates back to the time of the Doomsday Book from 1066. Wow. The estate was inherited in a direct line of descendant or of descent for 515 years until it had to be sold to the crown in 1581 to pay the outstanding debts of Henry Hastings, third Earl of Huntingdon, whose father, Francis, the commander in chief of Henry VIII's army, had rebuilt the manor house, part of which can still be seen today in 1555. There's still, there's loads more history there, but I'm not going to go read it all out. But yeah, this looks nice. As I said, it's a lighter course. <clears throat> now you see, you've got all these little houses and that looks like a little church or something there. All around the outskirts of the, the course. And because it's a lighter course, them houses will actually be there. Because when you do the lighter data, it actually shows you little, little plots, little flat plots. And that's where the houses and all that will be. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. I do like these kind of parkland courses, especially the lighter courses. And especially a course like this, a lot of history to it. And this is what, five miles away from Windsor Castle and only nine miles from Heathrow Airport. So kind of gives you the general area where it is. Yeah, it looks very nice. We've got a lot more buildings over here as well. That looks like some sort of university or something like that. As again, you see all these little houses down there. They would, these houses would cost an absolute fortune. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this. As uh, you know, I do like a good lighter course, and this looks like it's pretty well done. He said he actually maxed out the object meter as well on this, so... I mean, a lighter courses are good, but if they're planted good, uh, not just the course itself, but the outskirts, the, the clubhouse and things like that, then it does really make for a nice, enjoyable round of golf. And that is a cracking-looking clubhouse. He's done a really nice job on that. I've just looked at some pictures, and bloody hell... That's some manor house, I tell you, old mansion, should I say. Well, he's even got the air conditioning units and all that out there. Little practice screen, nice big parking lot there. And there I am on the first tee. And there's that driving range there as well. Okay, so let's get started. Let's put the, the old HUD back on and get going. Okay, so what do we have here? Hole 1, 545 yards, par 5, Stoke Park Country Club. Okay, nice drive to start off with. Okay, 
Yeah, it looks nice. I mean, I'm, I'm well, you probably know if you've watched a lot of my videos. I'm not a huge fan of the um, the autumn theme on TGC 2019. Yeah, I think it's the, the speed trees that they went with, they just, they look a bit plasticky, some of them, especially the willow trees, but I haven't seen any willow trees, which is good because they're just oh, plain ugly. Okay, 240, that's plain, and about 238. Got a one iron here, like 253 is too much. I'm gonna go with a one iron, but I'm gonna down loft it just a little touch. Hopefully it's pretty flat up here, it might run up towards the green. Either that or I'm just going to be off the green. Oh, I pushed that a little bit to the right. And when you put a lot of loft up or down, it kind of pushes it a lot more. So that's going to leave us a chip. Okay, 13 yards. Um, 90 to 95%. I think I'm just going to go down to the lob wedge. That should run up nice, depending on the green speed, I suppose. But we can get a full swing with this one here. Oh, come on. Oh, so close. Okay, green speed is 162. Pretty, yeah, I wouldn't say slow, but it's not too bad. Nice lighting effect as well. I do like the little grass season that he's got there as well. He's, it looks like he's done a pretty good job here. Okay, hole two, 410 yards, par four. And again, he's captured that. Just that lovely park one feeling to the course as well. And you've got the fence just on the right hand side, just dividing the, the houses and things. As I said, them houses, imagine how much they cost. Wow. Okay, it should, with that wind as well, just cut that corner. Oh, that's a two wood. I don't want a two wood. So it should be even better with the driver. Okay, I might just skim the tree. Yep, it did, but it should be okay. It should still land on the fairway. Yeah, all that area over there with the grasses and stuff, with the trees and the fence and that, that looks really nice. Okay, 105, it's playing right about 103. So, a bit of loft on that. Only a three mile an hour wind coming in from the right hand side here. Pretty nice flat lie as well. Oh, that was so close to being a slow there. I felt that in the swing. But that is good. Nice distance. That should give us another birdie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, hole three. 217 yards. Part three. Okay, got a little brick there. A couple little bridges just going over. Nice little bit of planting there as well. Looks a bit darker than all the rest of them. Ah, it's because it's in shade. You see that bit there? That's a lot lighter. Just this bit's in a lot of shade. Okay, 219, playing 220. Now we should be good with the four hybrid here. It should get a bit of a run on the green. Now uh, what's the slope? Uh, it looks like it's sloping a little bit away from the hole, so we'll aim directly at the hole. Or roundabouts there. Oh, that's nice. Come on, that should be good. Oh, it might go too far. Oh, it just rolled past the hole. I could have put a little bit of loft on that, but yeah, that should be okay. We should pick up the par for Mr. Purdy anyway. Ooh, pretty tough putt. Okay, 18 feet or one inch down. Ooh, and it missed. Oh, it's going. Oh, that's rolled past quite a bit. Oh dear. I said we might pick up the par as well. We'd probably end up with a bogey here. That was a silly putt. Way too much pace on that. Turn. Go on. Yes, nice save. Hey, hole four, 473 yards, par four. Okay, this kind of just weaves its way around these little trees here. Just takes a little turn around to the right. Nice big bunker there on the left. Could catch a wayward shot. Quite a few bunkers surrounding the green area as well. Pins on the back end of the green. Gives you plenty of room to play about with. 
two wood again. No, let's see. Right, they're all small trees, so we should be able to get right over the top of them. Cut this corner out. Oh, we hit so fast. Oh dear. Hopefully I played that enough to the right. Nope, nope. Oh, that's cutting it close. Ah, it's just trickled off. Now, is that light rough or heavy rough? Let's have a look. Oh, it's not too bad. First cut, right on the edge of the first cut. Okay, now you're 196%. That's not too bad. 148, that should do as I reckon. Okay, that's a nice strike. This might actually go too far, you know. Yep, thought so. Should have put a bit of loft on it. So that's going to lose a little chip shot. That's a terrible swing. Look at that. Very slow. But no matter. We're just aiming to get the par here. I should have put a better shirt on. <laughs> All the patrons be talking about me. Look at that tramp over there. The tie dye shirt. <laughs> Probably wouldn't even be allowed on the course for that. K hole 5, 525 yards, par 5. But this costs a few quid to play around here. As a matter of fact, I bet it's actually. Well, I don't know if it's private. It probably will be as a country club, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go with the driver. Smack one down here. Very nice. I'm just not going to have a look there actually just to see how much it costs for around here. Green fees, let's have a quick look. Oh dear, midweek £85, £110, £175, £140, £180, £200, £200, £180 up to £245 quid for weekends. <laughs> That's for around. Bloody hell. Yeah. That's a pretty expensive. Okay, what are we on here? We're on shot number two. That's par five. Nice. 215 yards. Let's drop down to the six hybrid. That should be okay with that wind. That should help us a little bit. Yeah, I do like the light. And if you look over to this left hand side here, you see it coming through the trees there. Kind of got that little sort of misty feel to it. A little misty look. Okay. Might just aim that a little bit more left. That should do it, I think. Because we're on a little bit of a slope there as well. That's still going to be right of the pin, I think. Yep. Distance was absolutely spot on, though. That should set us up lovely for an eagle putt. Nice flat looking putt here as well. Get in now. Okay, hole six, 409 yards, par four. Now, a lot of people, when they play these um, wider courses in the RCRs, they, they do kind of play pretty easy, but I really, really like them. I really enjoy playing up a good designed lighter course, really do. So one of the best things that's happened to this game in quite a while is the, the little LiDAR program that um, Chad Golf sort of made for the designers. It's just a pity there's no way you can use it on um, like the PS4 and the Xbox and things like that. It's just PC based. Okay, 285 yards. <coughs> Excuse me. That leaves me 115, around about 120 to the pin. 122 with the gap wedge. Just put a little bit of down loft on that. Oh, we watched the boxing last night, boys. Ho, ho, ho. Andy, Andy Joshua, two times. Oh, that's just put me off. I shouldn't be bloody talking when I'm taking a swing. Two times world champion. To me, Andy Ruiz. Wasn't the fact that hang, he came in over a stone, overweight. To me, that's a lack of disrespect to his trainers and a lack of disrespect to Anthony Joshua. Really is. And I, to be honest, I don't think he deserves another chance. 
No, come on. Pull up. No, no, no. <clears throat> I didn't mean hit 100% now, but yeah. Um, Anthony Joshua, after his loss in June, he went back. Back to drawing board. Lost a lot of weight. Well, lost 11 pounds. Almost a stone. And he totally reinvented the way he boxed. It was just totally different boxer. And I thought he, he, he did a great job. Okay, 15 feet, three inches down. Let's give that a little tap. That's going to go to the left. And we kind of screwed that hole up. Big style. <laughs> now, mate, hey, looking through there, the trees and there, that just looks bang on country park, doesn't it? Like, beautiful. Oh, that was terrible. Do you know what? I think we're going to end up with a bogey here. Yep, we are. Oh, it might even be a double. Damn. Yeah, I need to stop talking in mid-swing. I do that quite a lot now. But, like I said, I'm only here to show the courses off, so... You're not here for my great play. <laughs> oh, double bogey. After that eagle, so that just totally negates that eagle I got. Okay, hole 772 yards, part three. Okay, I do like this little sort of walkway here, sort of flat walkway in the, up the steps there. Nice planting again around the back of the green there. Okay, 164, playing around about 159. 148, I don't think that is going to be enough. Could down loft it, or we could go with this and down there, uh, put some loft on it. Oh, it's pushed a little bit to the right. Might be okay though. Yeah, probably would have, should have went with the other club and down lofted it a bit instead of putting loft on that one. That was quite a bit to take off. Okay, 32 feet, one foot up. should hold up that should do it we'll come away with the par here okay and you see we can pick up another couple of birdies okay hole eight 394 yards par four okay great view off this tee here A couple of bunkers either side of the fairways. I do like them. These, these marker posts as well. These distance markers. Not a lot of designers actually use them, but most them um, don't know about the UK, uh, US courses and that. But most uh, UK courses have them. Nice view back there as well. Yeah, it's a really well done course. Enjoying this. Apart from that double bogey. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that was my own fault. Lack of concentration. That's what that was. Okay, 104. Playing 105. Okay, 108 with the sand wedge. Let's put a little bit of down loft on that. What well, miles of distance? It's going right towards the pin. Oh, that's not bad at all. So we'll pick up the birdie here. Yeah, I think Joshua's going to fight Usyk next. Um, he's got 180 days, I think it is, to freeze mandatory. That will be a challenge. That's lovely looking without light. The lighting is done here. Really nice. Just coming back up towards the clubhouse, past the tennis courts and the car park. I called it a parking lot when I first seen it, didn't I? Wow. Getting too, too Americanized. Car park. <laughs> parking lot oh. okay oh nope no way screw you HP like I've, I've, I've told you guys many times before even if I hit just a tiny bit off the mark a slow or a fast I can usually tell on the swing but these very fasts that creep in every now and again that is 
that's just random. That is um, down to HP. That's some sort of um, random glitch. Don't know if it's got maybe to do with lag or whatever, but I can't see it being lag because I, I run a pretty decent PC, especially for this game. You know, I wasn't even looking what I was doing there. I should have bumped that up a club. It's just every time I get one of them very fast shots, and I know for a fact it wasn't my swing, it really does piss me off. Okay, 34 yards. Yeah, let's put a bit of loft on this. Oh, I'll tell you what. No, let's go down to the 30 yards. Because I always usually hit a slow, and, you know, with HB's... Um, Weird way, oh, yeah, perfect, perfect. Weird ways of doing things. We hit a slow, it actually knocks the ball further when you do a flop or a pitch. Very strange. There's yeah, something else they haven't fixed. And they're still not saying anything on the, the, the bloody forums. They keep stump about anything. They don't even talk to their um, community anymore. Okay, hold 10, 391 yards, par four. So I think, I mean, there's a little indie um, sort of fishing game I play at the moment called uh, The Fisher Online. It's one guy, one designer, one dev who's made it, and he's constantly on the forums. And I think, what, it's been out for ooh, a couple of weeks now, and he practically puts an update out every single bloody day. And he's on the, the forums every single bloody day, talking to the community and stuff. Okay. Let's see the driver... That's the way HB used to be when Anthony Kine was there. Uh, when Anthony Kine left, it just kind of all went to shit, to be honest. Okay, that looks not bad. Nice swing. I don't get me wrong, I still love the, the game. The only decent golf game out there, to be honest, but yeah, I still enjoy playing it. Let's down loft that just a little touch, 132, so it's playing around about 133, 134. Then you had that little bit of wind as well. Got a little bit right of the pin. Distance was absolutely spot on though. Okay, 12 feet, 2 inches up. Oh, we get a birdie. About time. <clears throat> okay, hole 11, 176 yards. R3. Okay, another kind of little shortish par 3 here. Over the little bit of lake. 171, so it's playing around about 165. 172 with 7 iron, 160 with the 8 iron. I think I'm going to go with the 8 iron here. Okay, can't see it with that sunlight. Let's change camera. And how's that? Oh, just trickled on the green now. Okay, 19 feet, 4 inches up. Oh, I don't think I've hit that. I haven't. Nope. Way, way too short. Just needed a couple more ounces of weight on that one. That's a part. Okay, hole 12, 456 yards, par 4. Okay, nice looking par four. You've got that little sort of stream going all the way down the right hand side and cutting through the, past the houses. And the fairway splits up. Three mass bunkers right in the middle there. But we should be good with the driver. That should get us right up to the end here. Oh, <gasps> yep. See, that's what I mean. As soon as I swung that, I knew it was fast. And yet, yet earlier on, that was very fast and I could tell straight away. That was me. Okay, 156. Playing 158. Oh, we're going to have to bump this up. We've got two clubs. Let's go up to the six iron here. 
You know what? I think I might clip that tree on the way past as well. I think I might have to come out and draw it back in. Oh, this could be tough. Oh, would have had to have went up three clubs there. But that'll do. That's not too bad. That worked out all right. 18 yards. Let's put it down at the 13 and we'll go with a full chip here. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. That's <laughs> went right past. 24 yards, 13 yard carry. And then it went, well, another 11 yards after that. Okay, 19 feet, two inches up. Come on. Oh, no, it's going to the left. It's going to be another bogey. Yeah, it's pure lack of concentration. I mean, it's pretty sort of standard, like, course. It's not overly difficult. I'm just making it look a bit more difficult than what it is. But it's pretty hard. I mean, I don't know if you've done it. Like, I don't know these guys that stream and all that do it, but... <clears throat> Talking and playing at the same time, you do sort of lose a little bit of concentration. Let's have a lovely looking hole, this one as well. Trees either side. Beautiful. Lighting's done really well as well. Yeah, he's really captured that sort of English or British kind of course. That was almost a fast. I could feel that when I swung. As you see the marker there. Okay, 309 yards. Okay, 182, so it's playing 180. Let's go down to the seven iron, that should be good. And that's looking not bad at all. If it goes the right distance, that's not bad, that should be okay. Come on, pull up. Oh, that rolled quite a bit, didn't it? Hey, 17 feet, two inches up. Let's make sure we put enough weight on it this time. Ah, there we go. Better. Nice birdie. Oh, eagle. Ha, even better. <laughs> oh, 14, 456 yards. Par four. I oh, didn't even realize that was par five there. Oh, that was a birdie. Okay, you can just see the the mansion or the manor house there at the back. That should be good. We'll go on the right hand side of the fairway. 306 yards. Okay, 157. Let's drop that down. Down at the nine iron. A little tiny bit of loft on that as well. Oh, that was a bloody thumb felt like it spazzed out there. Look at that swing line. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't hit slow. That felt really like my kind of my, my thumb kind of just slipped off the stick. Okay, another nice birdie. Okay, hole 1,565 yards, par three. Again, nice use of the, the way the lighting's done here. Okay, 154, eight feet down. So it's playing around about 151. Let's down loft that a little tiny touch. Oh, yep, that was all me again. Oh, that just bounced a little bit to the side there. That probably would have trickled down onto the green. But we're going to only be left with a... Go with a chip here, actually, I think. Oh, get up there. Let's go with a chip. Because it's a down slope. We do a full swing here. We'll get it over the top here. It should trickle down. Oh, nearly. OK, 
a pretty flattish putt here. And pick up the par. Nice save. Okay, hole 16, 393 yards. Par 4. Okay, it looks like they've got a bit of a slant on the, the fairway here. Right to left. And it looks like the fairway is actually split up again here as well. We've got that little sort of... I wonder if that's supposed to be a little stream or brook going through there. See the little indentation the Vider has put in there? I wonder if that's supposed to be like a little stream feeding off into there, I wonder. Got a little bit of water there. What's this? It's like a double bridge. Yep. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to knock this back to the two wood. That should be okay. I'm not familiar with any other Paddy JK's courses, but I mean, he's done this online, so he plays on PC. Okay, 96, so it's playing at 90. Ooh, we're on about 95, so let's down off that touch. I down off there, let's put some loft on that. Counteract that wind. We're on a bit of a right to left slope here as well. Oh, I pushed that left. Should be okay though. Oh, just on the edge, just on the fringe of the green now. Yeah, I pulled that, I pushed that way over to the left. I'm going to put this. Oh, that was terrible. That was absolutely bloody terrible. Again, I like the grasses and all that under the trees. Very nicely done there. So a lot of kind of designers kind of leave out when they're designing. It just gives it that more realistic look as well. Okay, 16 feet, two inches up. Oh shit. My pattern is absolutely dreadful. That was terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. To you, to me. Reload. Come on. Finally. What's that? Triple bogey, I think? What's that? Double bogey. Oh, not as bad as I thought. I thought that was a bloody triple. Okay, hole 17, 431 yards, par 4. Again, that was just total lack of concentration there. Okay, another nice looking hole, this one. <clears throat> This looks like a really nice course. Driver, I think. Oh, I might clip that tree there, but probably cut that corner there, I reckon. Come on, push it a little bit left for me. Oh, it's gonna clear the tree, nice. And we did cut the corner, that's nice. Okay, 111 yards, 108 for the sand wedge. That should be good, I reckon. Oh, that wind's pushing it a little bit more than I thought. I mean, we are on a little bit of a slope, but I didn't think it was that much, but yeah. Come on, let's see if we can pick up a birdie here. Right, concentrate on this bloody putt. Yay, we got it. <laughs> okay, hole 18, final hole, 445 yards, par 4. Again, lighting looks absolutely great here. Very nicely done as we just come past the, either you want to call it the manor house or the mansion. Big country estate house, there you go, or hotel. Okay, nice drive for the final hole. Two hundred and eighty nine yards. A little bit short that though. Okay, one fifty six. 
Okay, we're 160 with the A iron. That should be good. Come on. All right, pull up. Stop, 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 stop. There's a little bit of a slope there. I can see it. It's not caught up though. That's okay. Okay, 11 feet, three inches up. Nice, finish off with a birdie. And that is Stoke Park Country Club, and that is by Paddy JK and 19. That is a very, very well done light, of course. I really, really enjoyed that. Bit of a mixed bag there, the scoring. A couple of them um, double bogeys there, and then a bogey. But that was just total lack of concentration, that was. And just talking through my swing and things like that. But yeah, really, really well done course. I really enjoyed that. As you know, I do like my lighter courses. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that yourself, um, hit that like button. I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching.